I'm running for lieutenant governor because the office has been underutilized asset in the state for far too long. We need to take the office and focus it on issues where the state's struggling like they do in other states. There's a lot of great examples where states take the office, they focus on educational issues, economic issues, whatever. Through my private sector experience, working in literally dozens of communities around the state, large communities, small communities, this became crystal clear to me. The biggest problem we're facing is simply a lack of jobs for the citizens of the state. The, the leaders in Springfield tend to think that we need to increase taxes to increase revenue. And that only drives businesses and people away from the state. We need leadership that knows what it's like to sign the front end of a check, not to endorse the back. We need people to know what it's like to make tough decisions. One of those tough decisions is ending the short-term thinking and looking long-term. The way we look long-term is increase the opportunity for business, capital, investment to come to the state, grow businesses, and employ people. That will solve a lot of the problems we're facing. Not only do we need to increase jobs, though, we need to also end the reputation the state has earned, and I mean earned throughout the state. We have a terrible reputation, rightfully so, because we have a culture of corruption in Springfield. We need to end the graft, the corruption, and the monkey business that goes on in Springfield. We need leadership that's not part of that. We need leadership that's going to make tough decisions when it comes to crunch time. And if we have leadership that ends that graft and corruption, not only will it enhance our reputation, but it will also help bring more jobs to the state. We need leadership in Springfield that doesn't just talk about doing things, doesn't just talk about creating jobs, doesn't just talk about improving the environment in Springfield in terms of ethics and corruption. We need people that actually have done it. As a Madison County Republican chairman, as a private sector businessman, as a military officer, I have leadership experience in all of these things. We need people that will enhance our reputation. How are we going to do that? We need to bring transparency to all levels of government. We need public officials that are willing to talk about who they have relationships with, where they get their money from, where they get their pay from, their campaign contributions, where their families are. Employed. We need clean, transparent government. That will do uh, great things to bring uh, our reputation back and to enhance governance. Right now, uh, people run wild because I don't think there's much accountability. There's not much prioritization in Springfield, and that's something that I'm going to bring to the state capitol. We're going to do it by uh, bringing real ethical leadership, someone that's going to make tough decisions when it comes to crunch time, someone that's going to be open, transparent, honest with the uh, people of the state. Well, tonight I announced that I'm not going to be taking a paycheck from the taxpayers of the state until we're able to uh, create an environment where they can all find jobs throughout the state. Uh, it's unfortunate the environment that the state's operating in. Uh, if you look at all the resources we offer from the geographic location, the human resources, and the natural resources, yet we're the bottom two of every economic and job creation category. It's shameful. Uh, the reason why we're struggling so mightily is because of a lack of policy leadership in Springfield. As Lieutenant Governor, I'm going to bring policy leadership to Springfield that will correct these issues. More importantly, right now I don't think that the, the legislators, or at least all the legislators in Springfield, uh, have the empathy and the sense of urgency to correct these issues because they're doing just fine right now. And no longer should the uh, legislators and representatives in Springfield be the first in line for a paycheck. They should be the last in line for a paycheck.